The shortlist for the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards feature a mix of pop powerhouses, feisty chart toppers, little-known underdogs, and eyebrow-raising snubs. The Recording Academy notably sidelined Canadian R&B singer The Weeknd, an artist with three Grammys to his name. But despite being widely tipped as a possible 2021 frontrunner, The Weeknd didn't receive a single nomination. He tweets, The Grammys remain corrupt. You owe me, my fans, and the industry transparency. It was also another letdown for K-pop, an international phenomenon the Academy had accepted at a glacial speed. Korean pop sensation BTS's English-language hit Dynamite was considered a strong contender for record or song of the year, but failed to score a nomination in these categories. They, however, score a Best Pop Duo Group Performance nomination. And the South Korean girl group Blackpink, which in recent years collaborated with Cardi B, Lady Gaga, Dua Lipa, and Selena Gomez, was surprisingly left out of the Best New Artist race. Fiona Apple, whose classic Criminal won her Best New Artist in 1997, scored three nominations in the rock and alternative categories, but was dropped from the top fields. After his chaotic presidential bid ended, Kanye West notched a 2021 Grammy nomination not for his rap, but for Best Contemporary Christian Music Album for Jesus is King. British anthemic pop rock band Coldplay scored a Surprise Album of the Year nomination for its eighth studio work, Everyday Life. Beyonce leads the pack with nine nominations, followed by Taylor Swift, Dua Lipa, and rapper Roddy Ricch, all with six. The Grammys will be handed out on January 31, 2021.